Hey guys, wanted to show you my 2019 G3 1652 welded aluminum John boat. Got this from the fine folks down at Mike's Marine, Panacea, Florida. Powered by Yamaha F25, 20 inch shaft. Thing goes about 27, 28 miles an hour. Might even hit 30 in ideal conditions. One of the first things I added was a Garmin Striker 4 Series Fish Finder. Mounted that on a Ram swivel mount. Just did some uh, nut and bolt hardware to attach the Ram mount to the gunnel. Ran the wire underneath the gunnel power goes over to the battery transducer wire over the transom that's probably one of the few holes I drilled right there for a clip and then used a mini stern saver epoxied on directly on the transom didn't want to drill holes into the transom pretty easy just had to sand the paint off before you put the epoxy works really well then added a black oak LED light spotlight combination floodlight 6 inch marine grade things not cheap black oak lighting it's out of Florida South Florida this is the best I could do with the wiring I really wanted to plug within the uh, within the bow, but I had to use this bulkhead fitting, and I'm thinking these plugs are pretty watertight, so I don't think I'll have any, any issues with it. I uh, added a couple nylon cleats, tried to keep them off the uh, casting platform out of the way. I did add this C deck embossed foam to the front deck and also to the rear bench seating area I opted with the model without the center bench give me a little more room anyway this uh, aluminum gets really hot in the summer this front deck was covered in like a sprayed on gritty type uh, non-skid I got a uh, paint scraper knocked that off a little bit and applied the C deck so it's a lot cooler, a lot more comfortable. So that's on the front casting deck and on the back bench. Had enough to cover these little side areas too. You're really not supposed to seam it together, but I can't see wasting all that foam just to make it one piece. I did order the boat with the floor and side option. Covers up the ribs. A lot easier to walk on. You're not tripping over the ribs. Looks like a vinyl covered aluminum. Also added these clips I got off Amazon. Uh, these small clips I use for fishing rods. Did order some clips for the paddle. Boat comes with it just a small storage area up front for an anchor and some rope, maybe some life preservers. In the back, I have the gas tank battery, dry box, which of course I can put up front. I added a couple more nylon cleats. Uh, over there is a power pole stick anchor that will work with their mini anchor system. I didn't want to spend that much money on this boat so I just stick that by hand and then it comes with a rope and you can, you can put a clip on it and clip it to a cleat rather than using a traditional anchor which I do have but uh, in salt water that's a lot easier to go in the sandy bottom. I did add in the center, as you can see, an angle 35 quart 
cooler. Have that strapped down with the angle tie down system. I did get the separator. Keep your food and drink separate. That slides out. Thinking about getting a pad. Angle once. Over $100 for a pad. I don't know if I want to invest that much just for a seat pad. I don't think it would be too much, too bad of a ride. Uh, the battery. I got these Blue C System uh, wire things I put on the battery. Just keep the mount a little cleaner. Put some shrink wrap tubing on all my wiring. Try to keep it all watertight. Nice and neat. I have a Johnson automatic bilge pump in case I keep the boat in the water and it rains. Uh, just have that plumbed over the transom. Shoots out over the over the transom and out the back. This thing I got from Carbon Marine, also out of Florida. Looks like it's made out of sea deck material. They have lots of um, fish cutouts. This particular one's a redfish. Anyway, it's good for sticking loose loose hooks into leader leader rigs you can hook into rather than just being on the floor flopping around in the bilge. Uh, these clips, as I mentioned earlier, they came from Amazon. Top clips will hold a six or seven foot rod because it'll go over the front platform. One's in the bottom, you can put a cane pole in there or a freshwater rod, five or five footer you can stick in there. Anyway, that's about it on the mods. I think I'm going to do maybe the only other thing I might do is a canopy. Really enjoying this boat so far. Coming out nice. Added a couple um, beer or soda can holders, which are nice. They flip down, flip out of the way. Everything nice and neat. Tucked out of the way, lots of walking space. Alright. My first video. Probably a lot of unnecessary video footage, but anyway. That's my boat. Thanks.